what if you could harness the unpredictable power of waves to produce drinking water for people that need it most? The American-made Waves to Water Prize aims to accelerate the development of small, modular wave-powered desalination systems capable of providing potable drinking water locally to communities in disaster relief situations and those in remote coastal locations. Particularly in a disaster response scenario, wave power has, a, has an interesting ability to complement other technologies in that it has a different time scale and it has a different energy density to it. Wave energy technologies aren't intended to replace other desalination technologies, but complement the ones that we already have. So right now we're just entering into the drink phase of the prize, which is the final contest. It's a five-day test where we're actually going to be testing and demonstrating these technologies in an open ocean environment. The Waves to Water Prize has partnered with the Coastal Studies Institute to host the final drink stage of the competition at Jeunesse Pier in North Carolina's Outer Banks. In anticipation of the final competition, NREL researchers have been designing and building a modular hydraulic and electric reverse osmosis wave energy converter known as the HeroEc. Our goal is to ultimately reduce deployment risks and measurement uncertainty at the drink stage by giving the CSI team a representative system that will be used as a test case prior to the competitors arriving at Jeunesse Pier. This will ensure the event goes smoothly and we can focus on the innovations from each of the competitors. We're really excited to partner with NREL and Department of Energy and Jeanette's Pier on this game-changing, transformative way of coupling wave energy technologies with desalination technologies to deliver safe drinking water to our coastal communities. This Waves to Water Challenge is a really innovative way of advancing research and innovation in this area. Uh, what we're really hoping for applicants to provide are technologies that have a, an interesting or a different approach to the wave-powered technology solution as well as the desalination solution. Uh, these are two inherently challenging problems that are both interdisciplinary by nature and so combining them should create some very interesting solutions. So the obvious way people can get involved is through competitors developing technologies, uh, but there are also other opportunities, whether it be incubators, sponsors, or other supporters such as uh, testing facilities that can be involved. What I'm really trying to get out of this prize is technologies that really demonstrate that wave energy is interesting and that it can, it can be useful and it has a place in this world, particularly in the case of water, right? So there's areas around where we don't have access to clean water and the ability to really use this, this other form of renewable energy to make clean water that people can, can drink is actually a very interesting challenge. Be at the center of an advancement in transformational technology and innovation to help meet the global need for secure and affordable water.